Right, okay, we are back once more. This is, of course, episode 16 of Burned and Park, and the last for the 1993 portion. Um, right, if we got in the stream, uh, MTS gets the gold, Thomas, you get the silver, and uh, Max, you get bronze. Phantom, unfortunately, you miss out on a podium. Um, how are we all doing? It's good to have you all, and um, yeah. We're going to be doing some more of... I don't know why I've just got a notification for my own stream, but, oh well. What can you do? Um, Matt Slater, welcome to the stream, Matt. How are you doing? Uh, Flawless, it's good to have you all in from the start. Um, yeah, we're going to be doing more detailing today on that ugly monstrosity in the corner. Um, yeah, we're, we're sort of nearing the end on the Superstore now. Um... We're going to be doing detailing on that primarily. We're also going to be finishing the embankment as well. So I've got to put the entrances along the back wall, um, put in the rest of the railings and such, and also do the scoreboard here. So hopefully we can get that done tonight. As a result, it is going to be a bit of a longer stream. We're going to be going for about three hours tonight, so we'll see if we can get everything done. Um, cool text on the roof, it looks realistic. You have no idea how hard it was to get that to look right. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, it's good to have you all in the stream, as always. Um, if you've not already dropped a like, if you could, that'd be brilliant. Uh, share the stream out with your family members, your cat, your dog, uh, your friends. Try and get everybody in here. And if you're not subbed as well, if you could drop a sub. Try and get up to 500 by the end of the year. We are, as it stands, 13 away. So, we're, we're close. <laughs> um, I think what I'm going to do, actually, is start with the embankment. Now I think about it. Seems to be the easiest bit. Um, I'm good, Matt. You? Yeah, I'm very good, thank you, MTS. Um... That block building in the corner. Block building? Which one? <laughs> You've got me really confused there. Um, right, so yeah, we're going to be starting with the embankment. Because I think that's probably going to be the easiest one to do. Um, let's see. So, I'm going to use grey stained glass just to do marker. Um, you'll sort of see why in a minute. One question, Prime Messi or Prime Wilfred Bonny? <laughs> it's got to be Wilfred Bonny, hasn't it? Uh, I think, actually... No. I'll stick with what I said. I'll use that as a marker and then just put the uh, fencing on top of it. Uh, Superstar lol. Yeah, although thankfully this episode will be the last one where you have to see the Superstore. So, enjoy it while you can, is all I can say. Call the superstore the block building. Oh, that's what you were referring to. I was going to say, you had me really confused. Uh, 
I don't think you can enjoy the Superstore. No, not really. It's, it's very much brick and very beige. So all in all, very 1970s. Which essentially means it was built about 10 years too late. Um... What was the easiest stadium to build and what was the hardest? Um, wow. <laughs> um, easiest to do. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be saying Ashton Gate for that. And. Oh, I mean, Ashton Gate, I had it done in four months, so it was pretty easy, plus I had no problems with it at all um, and then hardest I would have to say Bolton like to get the amount of detail that I managed to get in there in the end and it probably wasn't so much as building it that was the hard bit it was like getting all of the imagery and material to do like all of the interiors, that was probably the hardest bit. And uh, check your DM. What have you done? What have you done to my DMs? Which penguin are you? Private Kowalski, Skipper Rico. <laughs> um. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, the Bolton one looked hard. Yeah, I, it would definitely have to be either Bolton or I think the only other one that comes close is probably Villa. So Villa was quite a hard one. Um, I'm Rico. To be fair, I'm probably not far off Rico. <laughs> uh, we're both winners today, Matt. Yeah, uh, Wickham, I believe, came from behind to be Sheffield Wednesday, was it? 1-3-2 and we obviously beat Stevenage 1-0 even though we had the absolute ass of a referee that is Trevor Kettle safe to say he boiled over again and gave a Bolton player a fifth red card well he gave a fifth red card to a Bolton player in the last seven games he's officiated that we've been in so I think I think it's safe to say that EFL haters. Right, so that's that there. Um, do you ever just lose inspiration for a stadium and want to build a new one? That happens to me all the time. Um, I've had it on a couple of occasions. Um, I think. Reading was probably the main one where that happened. Because um, obviously, I had a lot of issues with Reading, which is why it took pretty much nearly a year to build. Um, so, as a result, like when I got stuck with that, I just moved on to the next one. And I think the next one after that was actually Bristol City. So, I swapped out the hardest for the easiest. And then I think I think once I did, well, once I'd started on Bristol City, that was I think 30th of September, 2018, I think. And then it was three weeks after that, so the 11th of October, I started on Derby, and then I started on Bramall Lane the following day. So I ended up having four stadiums active at that point. Uh, right, how are we doing this? So I've got to put three, uh, yeah, three stairways in. 
thereabouts. These are essentially in the wrong place, but we'll we'll sort them. Um, where's Cohen? Please don't. I'm not happy with him, so. Two 0 down versus Huddersfield. Oh, it's Huddersfield. Why did I think Sheffield Wednesday? <laughs> so that fans would be well happy if it was Sheffield Wednesday. Right, so we can get that out. That's one way, or one entrance rather. Uh, is it three that I've got to put in, or is it four? No, it is four. Whoopee. Um, right, so let's see then. Let's see if we can get this even out. Um, let's see, sort of two. Three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two. Three. And. Twenty, so basically twenty blocks from here, and then that'll be where the fourth one is. Um, three, six, nine, thirteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. There. Um, I lose motivation sometimes, like with Stamford Bridge and De La Camerica. I'm presuming that's Villarreal. But yeah, lo losing motivation is very easily done. Yeah, Villarreal. Yeah, I thought I thought it was. I'm gonna say because you literally mentioned it just before I started streaming. Sorry I'm late. You alright Joseph, welcome to the stream. You're not too late, don't worry. You've not missed much. Uh, yep, so those stairs are in there now, that's good. Um, right, one, two, three, four, five. 
Nine, so roughly every two is going to be a set of railings. Um, just going to mark these out. not put them on the other side because there's a building or three ish on that side so I still need to put those in so I'm not going to put the railings in just yet Forgive, forgive coin. <laughs> it's too early for that, I think. Um, imagine if they put a roof on that embankment. I don't know what it would have looked like with an embankment, to be honest. Well, at least the embankment with a roof on it, rather. I'd imagine it would have looked quite interesting. Uh, no swift yet. No, not just yet because I've got to be precise. I can't exactly use speed on here. When I get like the flat open bit, so it's just going to be one thing continuous, then then I'll use like the swiftness portion. But when I've got to be precise, I can't really be too quick about it. I have an idea of what my next stadium will be after Borussia Park. What stadium's that? Like, what stadium are you going to be doing next? Uh, yep. Energy Stadion. It's not a bad shape. It's a nice looking stadium that. I'm building non-league stadiums. That that's a very good like thing to be doing actually. Like not very many people touch non-league, so you might be you might be dipping into an untapped resource. Um I might put it up on my channel. Absolutely. Go for it. Um it's on the go currently that one. I think the Stad de France. Wow. Stad de France would be a challenge, I'd imagine. Uh, let's see. Let's get rid of that. You got me using Swift now on my realm. Kind of have done 14 hours on Minecraft, 8 p.m. till 10 a.m. today. Jesus Christ! Um, think the storage area is coming on nicely now. That's that's good to hear. I'd imagine it should be doing if you're spending that long on it.
damn it. There we go. Now get rid of that. Um, but it's sad because the curves almost need need to almost wrap around the entirety of the pitch. And as Phantom can say, the curves are tedious. Indeed, corners and curves are probably the hardest bit about stadium building. To be honest. I think it's pretty much going to be the same layout for the fencing all the way around, I think. Um, <clears throat> I do have an update too on that hard drive. Oh, Just got to hope you don't lose everything. Um, the result is worth it, but adds I'd say like tens of hours to the build, to the build, depending on the scale and the stadium itself, because they need to look right in order to make the stadium feel realistic. That's exactly it. I mean, like like you said, it might take tens of hours, but even the best of builders have to spend a long time to get things to look right. You can't have a realistic stadium built in like five minutes. There's, there's just no feasible way that would happen. So hopefully it's worth it in the end. Well, it should be. Now in France the replacement is taking what five weeks to get from the Netherlands to France. Jeez. <laughs> um it's fun because you learn doing it. Yeah, that's one of the good things about doing like obviously building stadiums on Minecraft, you learn and in some cases you do have to teach yourself like how to solve particular problems that you might have on a stadium. But the good thing is once you know how to do it and once you've got that problem solved, you can take what you've learned and move on to the next one and use it on future stadiums that you do. I think that's what most people do. I know I've definitely been doing it.
one wrong detail in the stadium feel, just feels completely different. That's exactly it. That's why if you're aiming for realism and you're aiming to do exact replicas, you've got to get it like, spot on. And if you have a problem, you've got to resolve it right away. There's like you can't you can't leave it whereby you made a like you make a mistake and you're just like, oh no, it's fine. I can live with it. It'll it'll work out in the end. And then you come to the end of it and your stadium like like you may have put one block out of place and then it ends. It ends up being like one side of the stadium just looking completely out of whack. Because then you know you've had it. That's why sometimes speed isn't everything. Like, yeah, in a lot of ways you want to be building quick so then you can get your stadiums out and whatnot, but there are times where you you have to be precise. Mustaya took me over a hundred hours to do. Yeah, you you were building it since October, weren't you? Thereabouts. And to be fair, I took inspiration or are interested off of Phantom and New Map. I prefer to plan it in the sense using coloured blocks to make it easier to do corners or tunnels on corners or walkways. Yeah, I mean, that's it. I mean, everything that I've put here, obviously all of the red lines and stuff, they will eventually mark out where the, where the railings are going to be. Then obviously you can use your gold or your silver blocks or whatnot to mark out where you put in rows of seats, where you put in entryways, or if you're even trying to mark out height changes. Um, I hate when you were building and the stadium looks wrong, but you don't know why. Exactly that that. That sort of goes to what I was saying earlier, whereby if you're doing, like obviously if you're in the process of building a stadium and you make a mistake, you have to resolve it there and then. Like you can't leave it until you get to the point where you're nearly finished and then you're sat there just wondering why half your stadium doesn't look right. Because if I'm honest, that's what I did with Bolton, it ended up leaving me with a problem that took five months to fix. So... It can save you a lot of time if you sort your issues out there and then. Because it'll only come back to bite you later.
I mean, given the fact that I've got most of the stonework for the car park in place now, the stadium landscaping on the whole is nearly finished. But I'm not really planning on working on that tonight. I mean, if I get round to it, then I might do, but we'll see. Exactly, who doesn't phantom? <laughs> What was your favourite Premier League season? Uh, wow. Um, I think a lot of people would say 2011-12. Um, but I won't because that was the season we got relegated. Um, I'm going to say... Oh. 2004-05. And that was because that was the first season we qualified for Europe for the first time. <clears throat> and also Chelsea won the title for the first time. So... It was the first season since 1995 where someone else other than United or Arsenal won the league. Um, that was a long time ago. Indeed it was. Premier League footballers have grown soft since then. Um, when City beat QPR on the final day, that was 2011-12, that was the same season we got relegated. That's why I purposely didn't pick that season. Um, and the Albion Great Escape in 04 or 05. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> Wasn't it between. Um, who was it between again? Was it West Brom, Southampton, and Portsmouth? Something like that. Can't quite remember who it was. But yeah, all four or five was generally a good season all round. Um, Albion, Southampton Palace, and Norwich. Wow, that really was a great escape then. <laughs> basically Albion or well, it was West Brom um, two bona fide mid-table Premier League sides and a bona fide yo-yo side um, 2011-12 yeah <laughs> it's, like, it's like I said 2011-12 might be up there for some people but it's personally not for me um, Newcastle came fifth and almost got into Champions League. <laughs> Mike Ashley would have had a field day. Instead, I think they got relegated two seasons later, didn't they? Um, 
I think the greatest football Champions League final was Chelsea and Bayern Munich in 2012. It was a decent final. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. That was when Gary Neville creamed his pants again. <sighs> Um, and it was the season Cissé scored the wonder goal that Ben versus Chelsea. Yeah, I remember that goal. It was one of those impossible ones. Keep putting the blocks in the wrong place. Drogba is a Premier League legend. I'll agree, he is. He's one of the best strikers the Premier League's ever seen. I've got to give him that. Liverpool Tottenham one looked so good until the actual game and it was so boring. Most Liverpool games are boring. Okay, that's the railings in on the embankment, or top half of it anyway. Uh, what's it going to do? I'm just going to have a quick drink. Wow, we've been going 40 minutes already. Wow. <laughs> That's flown past. Um, nobody really realizes that Chelsea are pretty plastic. They only came good because of Abramovich. I'll I'll probably agree there actually. Um, let's see. Sort of in between. I'm back again. Yeah, you're back indeed. You're right, Neo. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream.
Um, what colour is London in your opinion? I think it has to be red for Arsenal because of the trophies. Um, I think historically, yeah, I would say red. Um, in terms of recent successes, I would say blue because of Chelsea. But it's sure as hell not white. Um, I'm good. How are you today, Matt? Yeah, I'm not too bad, thanks. Having a bit of a later stream tonight, so we'll see how much we can get done. I think I'm actually going to finish it probably quarter to twelve tonight. So instead of th three hours, we'll go for two and a half. I think three hours is probably pushing it. Blue is the colour of London, I mean, Arsenal's got a few league titles and a few FA Cups, but UEFA Champions League and the recent success is blue and will be until a London team wins the league. Correct. Um, oh, you don't forget that the Spurs are Audi Cup champions. Yeah, but everyone knows that cup doesn't count. likely going to be the only silverware that Spurs fans will be seeing for a while anyway so that's not me being a dick that's just facts Never can start putting the railings in on these. And the good thing is that these go all the way around actually, so shouldn't be too bad. Uh, I think there's another stairway there actually at the end. Haha, ha, the trophy cabinet has more dust particles than a coffin. <laughs> um, Audi Cup is the equivalent to the crumbs in left at the bottom of a cereal box because no one cares for them. Hey, the man knows his facts. In other words, it's like one of the toys you get in a McDonald's Happy Meal. I mean, yeah, it's good. You've got you've got something with your meal, but in the end, it's practically worthless. And means nothing. Hey, you all right, Dipsy? How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. You've not really missed much, don't worry. Uh, 
uh, West Ham is my favourite London club. Yeah, that's fair enough. I've got I've got nothing against West Ham. I mean, Kevin Nolan's their assistant manager, so I've got no real reason to. Um, the fans are good. Uh, poor man's Caribou Cup. Indeed it is. Yeah. Um, have you seen that sea shanty thing on TikTok? It's really cool. I've not, no. The last time I even went on TikTok was just to see that MCSB had created a new account. Not really been on it since. This fencing at times, it's annoying. Uh, let's see. Oh, I've still got to do it three high. Okay. That is fine. West Ham at you. What's wrong with West Ham? Oh, wait, hang on. I sort of worked it out. Wimbledon they're my favourite. Again, got nothing against Wimbledon. Unless of course you're an MK Dons fan, in which case, yeah. <laughs> As you do. Uh, but I follow Uni and Berlin more, even though I can't watch both of them because they don't show League One or the Bundesliga over here. No, I think you only really get the Premier League over, over in the States, don't you?
yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't know why they don't show more leagues over there. MLS or the Prem. Well, you know, it's a spoil for choice then, are you? <laughs> then they need to show the EFL out in the States. You probably enjoy that more than the Prem. It's more entertaining for starters. Liga or La Liga. Are you not able to get hold of live streams? Like online? Well, they're saying that no one really watches La Liga. So I don't think you're missing out on too much. Trying to turn you into a secret Bolton fan. Bolton as my Lancashire family roots are there. That's good to hear. We're not a bad team to support. Although we're not exactly the easiest either. <laughs> oh, I keep taking out all the wrong flaming blocks. Evening guys. You alright lights? How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Um, I can but it's always on when I don't have time to watch. Yeah, that's a bit inconvenient. And of course you can't really get streams on replays, can you? to change my name on YouTube so it matches your discord name I can see why you changed your your name to Dipsy Seventy Four because obviously I don't I don't think anybody really used the doddle part, did they? I mean, everybody referred to you as Dipsy, so yeah, the name change makes sense.
Evening. You alright, Purell? Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Um, yeah, they never did, so I'm just going to be dipsy. Yeah, that's, that's fair enough. Short, simple, easy to remember. Good thanks. That's good to hear. Um, how you doing, Matt? Yeah, I'm. I'm not too bad. A little bit on the tired side, but we're getting there. <laughs> and thankfully, this will be the last stream where I'll be working on the superstore, so we will never have to look at that monstrosity again. I started the stream earlier. You're right, Gajira. Welcome into the stream. Jira had a mental breakdown over the game. How did the Villa game finish? Or are they still playing? No, no. Well, at least Villa didn't lose. So it could have been worse. Who did they play? They played against Brighton. I mean, I didn't really catch too much of it because I pretty much stopped watching after the City game, so... And since then I've just been trying to focus on this. Um, should have lost 6 nil. yet again another game where Brighton had so much expected goals but no goals yeah Brighton are exactly what you call the most clinical of teams Brighton would be eighth in the league if they really used all their expected goals. Well, like I said, they're not. Like Brighton have never been the most clinical of teams, so I think they could probably do with a like a decent enough striker in the summer.
and that's why people call them um, oh they're a really good team they just like threat and finishing exactly <laughs> Um, rather watch Bolton than that game. Well, in terms of our first half today, I'd probably agree with you, but not the second half. <laughs> it was more or less all Stevenage in the second half, and then the bleeding referee stuck his nose in it. surprising addition to the Prem but over time they're going to get boring I'm presuming you mean Brighton I was going to say we're not we're not going to be back in the Prem for a while uh, Norwich and Brentford go up automatically I think if Norwich go up at all let alone as champions, it's going to be really boring. Because it's like, they win the championship, then they go up to the Premier League, they come straight back down, and then they win the championship again the following season. So really, I want Brentford to win it. Finally finished that undercladding. Hooray! Apart from the one stand that you've got to expand on, I'm presuming. we go so in terms of the embankment itself that's more or less finished um, there's like three buildings which I presume are toilets I don't have a clue but um, let's see so shelter of sorts four five six seven no I'll use the swiftness crying out loud Saying that I might move it back a bit actually because I think it's a bit too close to those stairs. Um,
let's see if we can get up to 10 likes by the end of the stream. I've got faith in you all, so I know that we more than likely will get that. Swansea go up, I won't hear the end of it. <laughs> well, in that case, you just gotta hope that Swansea don't go up. Hit 10. Thank you very much, everybody. Let's see if we can keep it going. Um, Vivian Oakley, welcome to the stream, Vivian. How are you doing? Um, how long has this been taken? Um, well, how long has this taken, rather? That's my wrong use of grammar. Um, I've been working on this pretty much every day since New Year's Eve. And I'm trying to get it done in time for the 75th anniversary of the Burnham Park disaster, which is on the 9th of March. So this is sort of my personal tribute. Uh, personally we are about a week out from having this stadium completely finished and of course that means that I will be doing a home stretch stream more than likely next Saturday
two, three, four, five, six, seven. Up on charge again. Don't want it dying. <laughs> no. Um, power shock. Welcome to the stream, power shock. How are you doing? Um, it's good to have you in the stream. Um, I have to go, but great stadium. Yeah, that's not a problem, Vivian. Thank you for dropping in. Uh, hopefully, I'll see you next time. Good in you. Yeah, I'm not too bad, thank you. <laughs> uh, this, uh, well, as I've already mentioned several times on stream already, this will be the last time we'll be working on the Superstore. So I'll be really, really glad. And we'll be moving on to 1969 next week. Judging by the pictures, I'm going to have to cut a hole in that wall. So it looks like there's a gap of sorts, I think. says hi welcome to the stream Cal how are you doing it's good to have you back So I need to put a door on there, don't I? Uh, get rid of the nether brick fences because I don't need them anymore. Uh, I'll do black terracotta. Two, three, four, five, six. It's like a door on there. Don't know what it's for. Um, good you? Yeah. I'm very good, thank you. As I've already said, we're probably about a week out from completion, so we're going good. We are doing very well. Pretty sure there's like a gate or something there, so we'll work something out there in a minute. 
Um, I hope Brentford and Swansea get automatic promotion. Um, I'm more inclined to say that I want Brentford out of the two of them. I mean, if Swansea go up, fair enough. I mean, they've not been in the Prem for a while, so... But Norwich would be really boring. Um, imagine building stadiums, noob. That's all we're good at. <laughs> Simply put. Watford will be the worst one. Everyone wants them to just because of Ben Foster. Oh dear. Uh, Alright, let's see. Let's see if we can do these entryways. That's something I do need to do. Where the hell? Oh, I need to level out the ground around here. Um, I'm doing that all out of yellow terracotta if I'm honest. Just need the top bit of it to be yellow terracotta. Back. Did they? Beaten since Mick McCarthy took over. Uh, to be fair, Mick McCarthy is a decent enough championship manager, though, so you can sort of understand why. The reason why I'm covering this over is because you don't have like lopsided foundations. So 
especially with floodlights concerned. can look at the um, entryways so we need four holes in the fence I've got one I've not put one here ever so we'll get rid of that there we go um, it's got the four holes in the gate or in the wall, sorry. Um, so there should be a fence in between two and three. Well, it's just before three, so it's about here. Two, three, four, two, three, three, one, two, three. There we go. B3 to RLCS. I don't know what RLCS is. So that's that fencing. Um, just working out how to do the actual entry gates now. thinking it's probably going to be best just to put the actual entry doors in first in it before I do the backs yeah that's probably going to be easiest I think uh, right saying that no it's not oh this is confusing right so there's one there um Three, four, five. Right, okay then. So that's how that works. Um So I'm thinking it's something like yeah, it's a bit difficult this bit because I can't find pictures of the actual doors themselves.
you've got that there, which obviously makes enough sense. Um, and I'm thinking it's. Uh, can't beat the old entrances. Yeah, that, that's true, you can't beat the old entrances, but the problem is here, like with the ones on Burnden Park. The pictures of them are all at an angle, so it's quite hard to like to determine where uh, where each entryway goes. Alright, so you've got that one there. Uh, next one is about here, about here-ish. Three, two. So that's where that one goes. Then the next one, it's basically the same thing but a bit further down. Um, so right here, more or less. So that's that one. And then last but not least is the last two. So that one probably about here. Yeah, that one makes sense. And then the last one is right the way down here. Right, so that's where they go. Um, I think what I need to do is Need white concrete. I think I'm just gonna have to guess where everything goes. I think because I genuinely do not have a clue. So some pretty big exit doors in.
checking something guys, don't worry. I've not gone. Right. Um Hi Skillbridge, that's football. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Um Hi, one question, pick a stadium that I should do in the championship. Uh, uh, Huddersfield. I'll say Huddersfield or Wickham. Right, let's see. cobblestone this side because it sort of represents shutters actually no I'll swap it out and I'll use iron blocks instead given that that is what I've used for shutters everywhere else
two left. Two left and then the embankment is done. Chat died a death, didn't it? Go. I think there's just a little bit of signage that I need to add. Uh, yeah, there is. Uh, it's about midway. we go, the embankment in its 1993 appearance anyway is now done. So now that means we move on to the superstore. Uh, yep, yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Um, awesome it's all it is indeed <laughs> strictly speaking that technically means that the stadium itself in its 1993 appearance is complete because if you think about it the superstore itself isn't part of the stadium I mean yeah it forms part of the stadium structure but it's technically not part of it Means we are edging ever closer to overall completion.
I've started already. Very good, you'll have to keep me updated with how you get on. Um, see the slabs on your stands, are they in the middle or the back? Uh, they are the back. Superstore then. Six, nine, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So these would be representing the air conditioning units on the roof. I think there's four or five in general, I think. that one uh, four from this side so one two three four 
four in between three and four, which is here. Just need to make sure that's in the right place. Um, BRB, yeah, no worries. Take your time, it's no rush. It's about five across, isn't it? Yeah, no worries. Welcome back. Also, regarding next week's streams as well, I will not be streaming on Thursday next week. Um, that's just down to a personal decision on my part, so we'll just be doing Friday and Saturday next week. Uh, how many concrete do you use for the stands? Well, uh, <laughs> that varies, it depends on the size mainly. Uh, also depends how many seats there are in that particular stand. So basically I wouldn't be able to give you an exact number because even I don't know. Uh, if you've done Huddersfield, I've not done Huddersfield. Uh, I won't be doing either because it's not it's not part of my own championship project. So obviously 2018-19 Huddersfield were not in the championship during that season, so but again, even then I still I still wouldn't be able to give you an exact number as to how much concrete to use because there's so many variables that come into play. Uh, let's get shut the yellow carpet. Shouldn't need it. It's probably going to be handy for this. Just 
got to put the pipelines on, on the roof. And then we can start looking at uh, adding signage and other details that may need, like may be needed. I think the main one's probably the signage. Because I'm not, like, in terms of the rest of the main entrance, I'm not going to be able to do it until I finish the rest of that car park. See the six people in the stream. If you're just returning or if you're new, um, the embankment is pretty much finished. Um, so we're just real in terms of the 1993 portion, we've just got the superstore to get done. As always, I'm grateful for all the support I've had throughout this project and throughout all of my other projects as well. Couldn't be doing this without any of you. So I really appreciate it. I'm just going to need to look for another image a minute. Right. I've got to keep it neat as well, so I need to work out how far these are away from the edge of the roof. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one. 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. All right, okay. So 24 blocks away from the roof on this last one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 24. Uh, and the 5. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. It would be interesting build be an interesting build Huddersfield would be. I suppose it probably would be. get rid of that gold so we don't need it now ok 
apart from me digging a hole in the roof. <laughs> So I'm thinking it's um, Lisa Campbell. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Uh, what part of the ground are you building at the moment? Well, we've just finished the embankment, um, so we're currently just detailing the Normand Superstore. This is pretty much the last bit that needs to be done in terms of its 1993 appearance. Next week we're going back to Okay, so that's 
all of the roofing equipment done. Now we move on to the signage. Gotta check my map is updated. Yeah, it is. Good. I think if we do I think the pitch side portion of it first, which means I've got to look for another picture. So bear with us. Perfect, that'll do. Right. Ow. Mark it out. So it's about halfway up. Something like that. So the red terracotta might actually look better. the normid writing itself is actually in italics but I can't really do italics on here not without it looking really really bad When you go back to 1969, does that mean hippie era? <laughs> More or less. Well, I'm saying that, even the 1969 portion shouldn't really take long because there's not too many differences between how it looked in 93 and how it looked in 69. So it should be a relatively quick one. Uh, let's see. Two. 
superstores about here. I'm probably not going to be able to get super superstore written in there without it looking really bad, so just have to bear with me. The problem with writing in Minecraft blocks, you can't really be dead precise with it. So you've just got to make do, especially if you're trying to squeeze the writing into a confined space, which is essentially what I'm having to do. But then again, given how much we hated the Superstore, I can't exactly make it look any worse, can I? with that. Um jeez. So for the next portion of signage we've got to uh what bit are we on next? Alright, so on this wall um need my block of gold back. Uh so there's two like columns on it that I need to put in so two there, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, ten, fourteen, fifteen, six, seven, eighteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 30, 33, 36, 39, 42, 45, 47, um, 47 by 3. About 15, 16 blocks. So 3, 6, 9, 12. 16. I'll get some LSD for 1969. <laughs> hey, the 60s weren't a bad era, so we can't really complain. Um, 6, 9, 12, 15, 16. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Yeah, that works. I 
and I think by the time that I'm ready to stream that next week, there probably won't be much left to do. Because in terms of changing it up to 1969, I've essentially got to uh, redo the back of the embankment. I've got to finish off the well, the side of the embankment, obviously that's not there in 93 due to this. Um, and then I've got to change the signage over and then put the railway tracks in and that's pretty much it. So there's, oh yeah, I've got to enlarge and, or enlarge the floodlights as well. Other than that, there's not really much that needs doing. two doors there which is good uh, I think there's a door around here or something two, three four five six I'm back hey welcome back <laughs> how are you doing You'd be happy to know, Gajira, that the embankment is finished in terms of its 1993 appearance. Um, I've managed to do the entry gates on the back of it as well. Uh, so now we're just doing the detailing for the Superstore. So obviously I've already put Normid on it. I've done the air conditioning units on the roof. And we're just gradually working our way around. So it's coming on well. It's progressing. So yeah, chances are by the time we get to the stream next Friday, there's not going to be much left of this to do. Um, good COVID just decided to punch me into the stomach. Ouch. What's it done? Um, Superstore. Yeah, I know. <laughs> At least once the detailing is done on it, I won't have to touch it again. Boy, well, I'd be glad. Um, right, I've got to make sure I do a carbon copy of that Dormid logo. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Five from the top, seven from the bottom, right. Great era for music in the 60s. Yeah, it weren't bad. You had the Rolling Stones. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a shame copyright's issue because of, like copyright's an issue on on here because otherwise by the time it comes to doing the 60s I'll probably stick some 60s music on in the background. <sighs> Get with the times and all that. Um, just decided to give me stomach cramp and then diarrhea so not pleasant at all oh hang in um hey you alright freak out welcome to the stream how are you doing
wish Minecraft had a set it, setting to remove the misty look. I don't know, it sort of looks quite good, especially with retro builds, because it sort of gives the impression of cigarette smoke. At least that's what someone told me anyway. Sup, you alright Nevs? How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Good, as per usual, you good. Yeah, I'm very good, thank you very much. I'll be a lot better when we're on to the 1969 version next week. <sighs> so that means no more Superstore. As I was telling Max, my chances are by the time we get to next Friday or next Saturday when the next stream is and like when it'll be time for the home stretch, chances are there's probably not going to be much left to do by that point because in terms of converting it for the 1960s there's not much that needs changing. You're building something you don't like. I know. It's got to be done though, unfortunately. case that would be Anfield. <laughs> uh, 
I'd rather build a fully functional toilet. Rock. Oh, am I still streaming? I am. I won't be for much longer, though. I think we've done all right there. So, what is left for me to do? Um, there's another couple of details on the other side of the superstore. Um, I need to finish this area here. Uh, there's the main entrance, which I still need to do and then to bring it around the front as well and stick some windows in 
Uh, I will get that done between now and next Friday, and then we will be on 1969. And the two streams I'll be doing next week, so Friday and Saturday, will be the last two on Burnham Park. Uh, Saturday will no doubt be a home stretch one, so it'll be a 10 hour stream. I will have a 10 hour time limit to get the stadium finished on Saturday. I'm hoping to have that up for about 11 o'clock on Saturday morning next week. Um, but I'll put more details up, obviously, nearer the time. Um, I'll have a quick look at the comments just quickly. Um, Hi Matt, music production was nearly giving me a migraine so I thought I'd come back on the stream and relax for the remainder of what's left of it. Yeah, not a problem. Um, so no Thursday stream lol. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to be streaming on Thursday this week. That's just a personal decision. So, I mean it also gives me more time to work on Burned and get stuff ready for Friday. So, yeah, it'll be Friday stream next week and then we'll be doing a home stretch on Saturday so for now I will show you what we have done um, yeah we've got the air conditioning units on the roof of the Normid store uh, we've obviously done some of the signage on it as well uh, more notably around there Let's just get rid of these don't need them anymore and then most importantly of all the embankment is finished in terms of 1990 it's 1993 appearance so yeah for 1993 the stadium is more or less finished so we should be on 1969 next week anyway for now that is going to be it for me uh, I'm glad you've been able to join me I'm really hoping that you've enjoyed this burn and pipe project as much as i have um it's been a lot of fun and hopefully we'll be able to wrap it up very nicely next week um so yeah anyway thank you all for joining me thank you for the subs the likes obviously chatting as well you've been keeping me busy so um yeah thank you very much i will see you all next week cheers guys